Hi, welcome back to DennisRC.com. Uh, we made some progress here. We're going to try out the uh, sunburst and shaft dispensers here for the first time. Um, the guns are now done. Uh, you can go ahead and deploy them. And on the other side, we'll go ahead and retract them. And uh, the wiring's cleaned up a little bit, at least toward the, the front. Toward the back, it's still a little messy, but we got some work to do. Uh, as you can see, we've mounted the uh, uh, fire suppression device. It's going to fire the CO2 charge. And then uh, we've got the, uh, the cable harness, the RST32 cable harness. Uh, plugs directly into the back of the mechanism. But right now, we're using a RST32 three-foot cable so that we can... Uh, work on the insides of the fuselage while still connected to the mechanics. So now we're going to go ahead and try to fire some uh, sunburst and chaff here. Well, it worked. How about that? I want to get that from a different angle next time. And I got uh, a little ricochet from the uh, in the 17 millimeter round that the 17 caliber round that the bounced off the far wall there so uh, not bad not bad at all um, go ahead and retract those so the uh, basically the uh, fire stop emptied the CO2 the hoses stayed fine a little chilly from the expansion a little frost on some of them but uh, all in all, uh, we now have operational sunburst and shaft dispensers. Of course, they only fire once per CO2 charge, so um, that's uh, not something we can do until we reload. Uh, but anyway, that's where we are now. Um, another major subsystem functional. And uh, we're going to keep on moving. Next, we're going to uh, prime some of this uh, extensive body work we've done here and on the wingtip and uh, do some final sanding. Uh, and then before we move on to the next phase. So thanks again for stopping by.